Good morning, friends, family, and subscribers. Um, right now it is about 12. Um, Steve just left school. And I just want to let you guys know today is Steve's birthday. So if you guys can you know, be nice and leave a comment for him in the bottom. Especially him a happy birthday. That would be very nice. What is this? It's like my meat arm. My meat fat. Anyways. So today, um, the plan is I'm going to meet up with Crystal. Um, we're going to do a little project for Steve for his birthday slash Valentine's Day, um, present. And then I had to go wash, or I'm going to take her out to eat for doing this for me. And then, um, I got to go to the bank and then I got to wash Steve's car and then go home and study. Hopefully, I'm trying to see if I can find some watermelon. And then maybe like a place for steak so I can like take it home for Steve because I know he really wants like he really just loves steaks steak and watermelon it's just like you know he's so busy with school and um there's like kind of drama within the group right now and he it's just like really put him down and it makes me really sad because I just want nothing but happiness for my boyfriend and you know I try really hard but outside factors they just come colliding in and it just ruins it for us so you know today he didn't want to throw a party he didn't want to do anything for the week and i totally understand you know it's his day um but yeah i just really want my boyfriend to be happy today or over the weekend because even though like he's 27 and he's like what's the difference i'm just gonna get drunk blah 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 it's like well it's the first year i get to spend my birth or your birthday with me you know when i like i really just want the best like, since we're dating, I just want your day, like, every day, especially your birthday, to be happy. That's all I want. So, my goal today is to make Steve happy. Extra happy. I don't know how, but I'm going to try to do it. It's my goal. So, yeah, I'm going to take you guys on this adventure. <laughs> I do apologize for not vlogging. I feel like maybe vlogging should... It's just not a daily thing for me, you know, I I have, um, a lot of, um, how to explain, a lot of feelings that I don't like showing on a camera and feelings I don't like talking about on camera as well. So, um, so, like, let's just say, for example, you know, I start the day off, I'm vlogging, I'm happy, and then something comes up, and I, my mood is just totally, like, changed, and I'm just like, you know what, I don't want to vlog anymore. And there's so many days of that, and I apologize. It's just, it's one of the things I'm working on to deal with my emotions, because usually I just, you know, just don't deal with it. Or I just, you know, get, grab a beer, or I just go to sleep. But, um, I think, like, I'm, but that's a different situation. But for vlogging, guys, I think vlogging is just going to be whenever I'm able to vlog. I know I made a commitment to try to vlog every day, but with school starting, with, um, this new transaction of my life to actually trying to deal with my emotions um steve is help, helping me with that he um he wants me to deal with my emotions where instead of me you know just numbing things out so it's a d very difficult process for me especially um so i have it's really hard for, hard for me to show it on camera and really like days like that i just don't want to do anything i just want to stay home and just sleep like and it's really hard too because I have these blackout curtains so I literally I can just sleep throughout the whole day and it's just it's so much easier for me but even though it's really easy it's not the right way so I'm working on it guys so yeah I, that's what I wanted to talk about I know in my last vlog I said I was going to say something about it but I haven't so since I'm home alone and um I'm talking really long to you guys I thought I should bring it up. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, okay, bye. Okay, so I just finished doing my hair and makeup. Um, I decided just to do a hair tutorial, but I'm even considering even uploading that because I honestly hate doing my hair. I become such a perfectionist and I get really annoyed, so I just, like, give up on it. But my makeup actually looks pretty good today. I should have done a um, tutorial about that. I don't know if you can see with the light. Um, purple lips. And I'm wearing red. Pink and red basically on my eyes. 
And, um, you know, now that I realize, because I remember I set this, um, this photo shoot with Crystal, like, a couple, like, maybe last week. And then Steve, he kept asking me, he's like, oh, what are you doing Tuesday? What are you doing Tuesday? And I was like, oh, I told you already, babe, I'm doing a photo shoot with Crystal. And he goes, oh, okay. And I didn't know his birthday fell on a Tuesday. I thought it fell on Wednesday, which was tomorrow. So Crystal's like, what are you doing? How come you're hanging out with me? I was like, well, he has school. I'll be home by like four. And that's when he gets home at four. She's like, you should do this. You should. I'm like, well, the thing about it, me and Stevie both agree not to do anything. So, but I know I, I do want to buy him steak and watermelon. I don't know. I started feeling really bad because I was like, shit. <laughs> I'm a horrible girlfriend. Okay. But I'm going to make this quick so I can go do my errands. I'm just going to take a couple shots with her go to the bank and try to find some watermelon um i can't i don't know how to cook steak so i'm not gonna make steak but watermelon is the best i can do for him right now probably get him tea as well so okay bye ow that hurt this is stella hey stella <laughs> so mean So Crystal is making me into a fairy. Do I look like a fairy, guys? Wearing this really, hold on, let me turn it around. I look like a goddamn fairy. <laughs> this is weird, because I was watching Supernatural last night and the episode was about fairies. So this will be my background. Do, do, do. So we just finished. And I am really cold. <laughs> I didn't realize how cold it was. Oh my god, there's a guinea pig in here. Hold on. Guinea pig! It's... A guinea pig is in here. Oh, what's that? There's a guinea pig in here? Yeah. How did this happen? How did you even find it? It nibbled at my toe. Like, I saw it, and I was looking down, and I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, guinea pigs are so weird. This actually looks like a man. So, I'm home now. Um, I'm just gonna wait inside the car, because Steve said he'll be home soon. Um, me and him both haven't ate yet, so I'm gonna take him out to the next best thing that I can get him besides steak, which is short ribs. So we're gonna go get short ribs. Um, it was really sweet. Um, Devin invited me and Steve to um, go watch movies, but I asked Steve and he was like, babe, I told you, I need to study. And I was like, okay, babe. I, I feel bad because I'm constantly asking him what to do. And I like I honestly feel like he wants to do something for his birthday, but you know, he his priorities are really straight and he wants to do homework. So I'm gonna be a good girlfriend and just let him do homework. I'm gonna be, do my best to not distract him, to, you know, not talk to him, and actually just talk to him, or actually just let him do his homework. So maybe I'm thinking maybe when he's doing homework, I'm gonna go try to find watermelon. Um, and that's it. But I'm actually I'm really hungry, like super hungry. Oh, excuse me. I look like um Crystal. She's really nice. She gave me um she went to go buy alcohol with her boyfriend. A while back and she bought me this she's like i wasn't sure if you like jack i think you like jack right and i was like yeah i do i actually love jack she's like yeah i bought this for you Devin thought i was buying it for him but no i bought it for you and i want oh thanks so i was walking out of the house and i was holding it like this and then i was like fuck i might look like a total alcoholic right now because i'm holding jack and coke in my hand she's like oh you do and i was like that's not a good thing no no but yeah she was telling me I should have done a um a tutorial on my look and I was like fuck I should have. So maybe next time I'll do a tutorial about on this look. I actually like it a lot. I might start wearing this a lot more like. The thing is I should like I feel like makeup looks are not completed without fake eyelashes, but I honestly hate, hate wearing like fake eyelashes. And I just realized I didn't put any mascara on. Shit. But yeah, we'll see. That might change because I actually love how it looks. Just hate how it feels. I hate putting it on. Mm, girls' first world problems. But yeah, so what you guys saw, Crystal wanted me to put a disclaimer. What you guys saw will, like, I will 
look like a fairy, but it'll be totally different because she's actually painting it. She's not photoshopping it. She's not doing anything with it. She's painting it. And our theme was good, or uh, good, good and evil fairy. I hope I did like or good and naughty fairy basically. So I hope I gave her you know the picture she needed for her um, painting. And you know what? I'm honestly really happy I did this because painting actually helps her calm down. I'm down for anything to make my friends calm down. So I'm glad about that. But. So since I'm home, I'm going to vape and chill till my baby gets home. Okay. Hi guys.